Good morning, everybody. It is a Sunday. No mic because I've lost one of my earplugs. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in my. It's in the bus. This one though, because I had it both of them yesterday. And I've given up. I'm going to actually go buy those ones that go around your neck. No, not the long skinny ones, but the wireless ones that can go around your neck. And yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just a bit ticked off today because yeah, I, I didn't have a great sleep two nights in a row because of teens, teenagers. I mean, she had friends over last night. They're in the car, and I just got up. And I just went in the back of the car and they'd thrown everything of mine, stuff that I've got to sell and other stuff, in the back of the car. And because her dog was being misbehaving, she put him in the car too. And this is what happened to one of my vintage books that I brought home yesterday to get the sticker off, which I managed to get the sticker off without bringing it home because it got warm enough in the car. That's what happened to my vintage book. Not only that, the dog had a little munch on it as well. I'm not happy, I just... I just I exploded without any F-bombs or anything like that, but I did explode, the three of them, that are in there asleep because they can sleep now because I was woken up that many times that, and I'm up by 6, 6.30 this morning. And sleep to me is very, very important more than anything else. Sleep is my thing. I have to have it, otherwise I don't function well the next day. So what am I going to do with this book? That is the question. Well, I know what I'm going to do with the book. So I was looking it up this morning. I'm just really ticked off. Like, this is a beautiful, probably 1930s. I haven't, actually, I was in the middle of looking before, and then I decided to leave the bus after I emptied the toilet and do all that fun stuff, untangle dog chains and clean up poo and all that stuff. I want to sleep, and wash up, sweep the floor, you know, all that fun stuff. I decided to get away from there before they all did decide to get up and start wanting to do stuff. This is such a cool book, guys. It's got, it's got colour. It's got black and white, um, prints in it too as well but it's also got colored ones as well I just saw one just then so what am I going to do well as I was scrolling through having my cup of tea and scrolling through um, Facebook and eBay and all the things that you know we all do I was trying to find a colored plate now that I saw before all black and whites um, there's a colored one this is this is old this is an old book this is old <laughs> so I'm so annoyed with them right now um, what am I going to do with it? Well, I know that a lot of people do, do journaling and a lot of people will tear out books. This is what I was going to talk to, about, to, talk to you about in another time, but now I'm talking to you about it now. Um, they tear up old books and they actually sell the sheets for people who do journaling. I mean, I could probably, you know, mix it up, put about five of these in there and then get another book and put a few more in there and, and do it that way. So my money's not going to get wasted. I am going to get my money back. I'm just upset that a historical piece of item like this that sells for this much in the USA even though that's a better quality one I still could have got my 30 30 40 dollars for it I'll see what I can do to rescue this ah oh, I'm just so annoyed I think I'm a bit over being a teen a teen carer it's so white wearing teenagers teenage girls teenage boys but teenage girls I think probably my hardest but anyway with that being said all that whinging over oh, it's a beautiful day beautiful day and i'm going to share a video with you that i did yesterday when i was in a better frame of mind when i went garage sale and i may have a garage i may have a live going up this afternoon in old school old school memories i'm going to do that i think this afternoon with some trivia questions some old school vintage items that i want to share and see if you know what they are um that type of thing actually some more bus i'm gonna go back to the bus later and get some other bits that yeah see if you know what they are just a guessing game i think i still want to do a prize i'm going to see if i can dig up the things that i packed up a while ago and we might do a prize this is a couple of prizes this afternoon but yeah that's what i'm going to do i've come to next to my shed even though i'm not going into my shed just yet i'll just come here because just have some space before everyone wakes up but actually i should go down to the shed because i've got a um i actually had a really good sales the last couple of days 20 like since wednesday 20 something which is good for me like usually it can be one here and one there but it's actually been a constant flow and i do think one of the reasons is which i'll talk about another time um for that but anyway enjoy the next video thank you for listening to my little vent and um i hopefully see you this afternoon for a live you'll see a little thing come up around 2 2 30 to say whether it's going to be alive or not because my life i just never know so if there is a live it'll be around 4 4 30 so i hope that suits everybody and i hope to see you then if there is one okay so take care everybody i'm going to just quickly add the other video to this and edit it so you can watch it so i can get other stuff get other stuff done including go find my new earphones again all right see you soon bye
Good morning everybody, it is Saturday and I said yesterday I was not going to go to any garage sales but I did because I had to get up early anyway and I had a headache. Two, everyone else is sleeping. Three, I don't want to clean the bus and let everyone else do that for a change. And four, I had to get to Aldi's early to pick up something for a friend who couldn't get here. So I did all that and I thought, you know, what can I do now? Fortunately for me, I grabbed my loose change. I had a big bottle of loose change that I found in the bus yesterday I forgot and I put there and my little car that I had spare cash in it which is all gone now so I went garage sailing and um, at first I thought it wasn't going to be very good because um, there was only two that I could find but fortunately for me at the first garage sale I did find something and I also met a guy who had a list of other garage sales to go to which is really great as well so I nearly wasn't going to share any of this with you <clears throat> but I thought I might as well because I know you like seeing what I get and what we all us resellers or buyers or all sorts of things get so I thought I'd show you so the very first thing I did see was actually this oh, it's not gonna it's not worth a lot it's only probably worth about 15 bucks I did pay five so I because I didn't have my phone with me I didn't look but I have a few Gregory's books they can sell some of them can sell for really good money this one not so much but it is a Holden one of my favorite cars especially the older ones but he also had this which is probably gonna be worth a hell of a lot more than five dollars which is what I paid it's from 1952 I actually did a little shorts about it a few minutes ago you may see that, you may not. Um, it's got the old cars in it. It's got the old... Uh, I don't want to break it any more than it already is. It's got the old uh, engines in it. And yeah, it's got so much. It's got all the information, all the stuff you need for an old car. But it also came with the old uh, catalogue prices. So that was really cool. It's got in the shillings and pence. Um, yeah, so that was really good as well. So I did get that. And I'm going to be listing that up for 120 to start um, bidding on see what it goes because I've seen one go for $1.99 in different colour so we'll see how that well that goes and it mine is actually in better condition than the one that sold so let's see now you guys know I love going to garage sales because I buy clothes and all that sort of stuff but we also can buy which I'm going to show you in a minute we also can buy things that we actually need and we use what a, it's very dusty but one of the things I did buy a, a lead as well a metal lead because I'm always after those and it's still got a tag with a little bit of rust on it they don't last long in our family kids lose them all the time but anyway I got some doggy bags now the first lot cost me 10 this lot cost me 15 um, I got a couple of storage containers for a dollar each I got a big fan for one of the kids keeps complaining because he's up the top of the bunk bed and it gets quite hot so I've got him a big fan and um, they can sit up there with him I also got I I've got, oh, I've got that too I can't show you because it's in the car um, so Elizabeth Arden, this is sealed. I actually tried to open the box to get the perfumes out because I was thinking about selling the perfume bottles separately because they're so cute. Look at the red door and that little round one next to it. Look how cute they are. But I didn't want to break the seal, so I'm going to see if I can sell it as is. I mean, I don't know how old it is. It's not too, too old because it's got the barcode there, but I know perfumes go off, but I also know people like to collect the perfume bottles. So that was really cute. So is that that one? Um, and while I was there, oh, I should get you. So all it is is a little um, EPNS. Um, I think it's a little mustard glass mustard. If I remember, I'll put a photo up for you. That's what I got there, and that lot too. She just had a shed full of stuff. Her husband's dying. He's got brain cancer, and it's just she's had to hire a shed and put all the stuff in it. It's not even all of it. She's got a lot more at the, the farm. I'll tell you that story in a second. Anyway, I also got one of these. I nearly bought one on. We're having issues with my granddaughter's young pup. I gave our good um, dog. Uh, collar thingy um, to stop him barking away to my other granddaughter whose dog couldn't stop barking so she needed it and then I tried to get another one they didn't have them anymore and then I bought one and it wasn't working and the people that I bought it off just refunded me half even though it wasn't working properly and I had to buy another one this doesn't seem to be working very well I've got a citronella one as well so I bought a whole thing of citronella which saves me about nine dollars something like that um, but I've got this one this is what I'm trying to say I only bought one of these the other day to try it out so hopefully this one works and uh, I can test it out if it's any good or not so that saves me a bit of money I did pay $15 for everything I got from her including the little cruet thingy and the um, oscillating fan and the containers and all that stuff so a little bit anyways back to the story with her lovely lady um, <clears throat> she's trying to get rid of all this stuff because she's got she's got a lot more at the farm apparently and I just said to her I said oh yeah she said to, I said oh do you have much vintage stuff and she says well um, are you a business I said well yeah I do a lot of online stuff she says can I get your phone number so I'm hoping something good comes of that I really do so um, she's got to move into town so she's getting rid of stuff she's got more stuff at the farm <coughs> to bring in yet 
but she said that I said, oh, yeah, I live in a bus, but because we can't get a house, she goes, oh, would you like to put your bus up somewhere? So there's an opportunity there, maybe, because she said she's moving out. There's a cottage there, like a little cottage. So I don't know anything about it. I don't know how far out of town it is. I know nothing yet. So we'll see where that heads. But at least, if nothing else, it'll be a contact for vintage items, which I'm hoping for, because vintage is where I want to go towards more than novels and modern clothing and stuff. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, I thought I'd let you know that. And then the last girl I saw, I think I only went to the three. The last garage sale I got a dress, which I said to you the other day, it was $2, only $2. I like buying my clothes second hand because if I don't like it, it doesn't matter. It's got a big, and you know what, I love wrap dresses, so I know I'm going to wear that one a lot because I wore my last one out. Um, there's something else here. There it is. They had, I think, two Harley Davidson shirts, and I only got the one. It cost me $3. I only got the one because the other one had Cross Harbour on it. It probably didn't matter, but I just preferred the one without any sort of towns on it. So, yeah, it's a Harley Davidson shirt. We all know Harley Davidson sells anything to do with sales. So that's another one for my pile of linen and clothing. I've got to get my brain into gear and actually do. I picked up some, um, where are they? Hang on, I'll get it. They were all over the floor, but while I was getting there, I thought I'd just show you this little. It's really, it's just, it's only one of. I'd say it was probably from a little cruet set, and it, this is all that's left. And I think because of the little spoon there, it was probably a little mustard container uh, spoon section. And it's an EPNS stamp, and I just love all that little cute sort of stuff. What will I do with it? I have no clue. It's just so cute. So I got that with that pile too. That was that first one. So this second one with the. With the um, with the dress I just got. She had some vintage hankies there. She had some other vintage apparently. She sold it early in the morning. But this is the sort of vintage hankies that are really well worth looking for. These are the old linen, uh, cotton linen, cotton or linen hankies you can find with all the lace, delicate lace. Now this is back when ladies were ladies, when we weren't lazy and we got into and did, we're not like, I shouldn't say that because that probably unsold a lot of us, a lot of you, a lot of us. Um, but you know what I mean, ladies dressed up nicely, men did too. And you didn't go to town without your hanky and all the rest of it. So these are the sort of hankies I'd like to find. And I have had them in the past and I've always sold them as well. But at the moment I'm using these for another thing I'm doing, which you will see at a future time when I finally get my act together and stop letting my brain go in hundreds of different places. So, okay, that was that, I think. I oh, know it wasn't, it was this as well. I feel like there's something else, but I paid $11 at this last garage sale, so I think I paid about $36 all up today. Um, some of it was mine, as you know, and that book will cover everything. Probably hopefully cover everything for the last week, and hopefully it'll be good money for my car. But I did get this, I think someone else was upset, they missed out. I saw a lady looking at them, talking to her husband. They're a beautiful, um, there's a whole set on there. I'll show you, the, I'll show you the small ones. I've got this, and I've got the, the easy to hold. Place mats, by the way, place mats. Um, and I've got the small ones. I'll show you the pictures. They're identical to the big ones, but they're small and they haven't been used. They are so clean. So anyway, there was a lady looking at them and she was saying something to her husband, and then he, she, they left. And I said, "Oh, do the, do the um, place mats go and the coasters go together?" She's yeah, all for five dollars. So I said, oh, "I'll take them then." And then next, I heard the lady go to her husband, "You should have said something." And I'm like. <laughs> Okay, well, obviously he wanted it, but you've got to be quick. Don't dally around me. I'm not going to make slow decisions like that. <laughs> I sort of felt a little bad, but I pretended I didn't hear. I pretended, pretended I didn't hear them. But, you know, be quick. Sometimes I think I should just say, well, I have done it in the past, you just have it. But anyway, so that's what I've got today, and I think that's all i got. But I hope you enjoyed that little one. Um, you'll see the shorts. You would have seen that. Live, I don't know yet. It'll be Saturday or Sunday. I don't know what day you'll see this, but yeah, I just want to share what I found this morning. Okay, take care. Bye.